All right, all right. It is 24 June 2023, and today let's do something different. Uh, I tried experimenting last year with following what the politicians are buying as uh, in terms of stock purchases because they have to publish and report the stocks they purchase, albeit not immediately, but they do have to report uh, what they trade, what they buy, sell, etc. I, uh, I also know that they probably don't report it accurately or they don't report all their trades, but they seem to report most of it. And uh, it is delayed information, but it will help you maybe guide you in the right direction of, you know, hey, these guys have inside information. Maybe uh, instead of complaining and bitching about the corruption, just play the game with them because uh, they, they can do it. It's maybe violating some stock purchase policies in Congress, but they don't care, right? The rules for thee, but not for me. Uh, so you can take the advantage of this and do as you will with it. Everyone has a smartphone, a computer, right? Uh, Google is your friend. This is kind of just pointing you in the general direction. So go do your own research and have fun with it. I did. I put my money where my mouth is. There was uh, last year a Twitter account that tracked Pelosi's stock purchases, <laughs> which I thought was kind of interesting. I said, what is this? I didn't know anything about this. Uh, but then you start listening. These people are civil servants, right? Politicians that make 175000 a year, if that, right? How are these people worth multi-millions? Come on, right? Come on. So basically, they know the policies that are about to drop. They understand who's lobbying them, blah, blah, blah. So they kind of have inside information and they can act and they do act accordingly by purchasing and or selling stocks. So uh, this site was on Twitter. This account was on Twitter. And one of the things that caught my eye was she uh, purchased NVIDIA last year. NVIDIA, as you know, is a graphic process controller manufacturer GPUs uh, for gaming and mining, even though the CEO of NVIDIA hates uh, crypto miners, he uh, he is he's doing all right. So I went out, looked at it, I said, all right, I'll put my money where my mouth is, put some money on NVIDIA. It tanked about 30%. I'm there, oh God, this was stupid. I'm thinking maybe she shorted the stock. Uh, I wasn't quite sure, but uh, I just held on to it, held on to it. Uh, maybe seven months later, oh man, I had it for a year. I'm going to say a year. And it finally broke even, like last month. I go, my God, and I had, I was up a thousand bucks. Woohoo! And I just said, I'm breaking in, get my money out. This is stupid. Dumped it. Literally, the next week, seven days later, the thing spiked. Hundred bucks a share. Went from like 290, 300 up to 400. I'm an idiot. I sold. First life lesson: Do not touch your stocks unless you absolutely, absolutely need the money. Just let it go. Forget you have it. Uh, I'm stupid. I it was just a humble pie. But having said that, it proved that the uh, strategy worked. Follow what these politicians are purchasing or selling and uh, and maybe act on it. Again, this is not stock advice. This is uh, basically tracking the stock trading on Capitol Hill as information and entertainment purposes, guys. I'm just pointing in the right direction. But I'm telling you, NVIDIA, they knew what was happening. Uh, with um, AI technology, maybe regulations. They knew what was coming down the road. And now even Schumer has a new uh, thing. He's now going to be on a board to regulate AI. Is that going to help NVIDIA more? But he has no stock trades, which is interesting in and of itself. So anyway, let's get to it. Quiver Congress is one of the accounts I found recently on uh, Twitter, right? Duh. Quiver Congress, you can go check it out. Quiver at Quiver Congress. Basically, they are tracking... Uh, stock trading on Capitol Hill. They have their own strategy. I guess you can sign up. I'm not paying for anything. I don't believe in subscription services because that's how you lose all your money. If you subscribe to all these things like Netflix and, and uh, Quiver and all this stuff, you forget about it and you're spending hundreds of bucks on a month that you should not, not be and basically taking that money and paying your bills or investing it. Oh yeah, here's some interesting. So here, here's an example. Former U.S. Rep Luria called a congressional trading ban BS saying, why would you assume that members of Congress are going to be corrupt? Why would you? Oh, my God. This is this is the bubble they live in. They believe they are honest, noble people. Uh, we spent the last few years tracking data of congressional trading and lobbying. We can give you some reasons why you think they're going to be corrupt. So it goes through 
uh, for example, some of the stuff she's done, some of the purchases, and some of the timing is impeccable on when these people buy and sell stocks. They basically make more doing the stock stuff than obviously their civil servant uh, puny salaries. Again, these are multimillionaires. So anyway, let's just jump to it. Here's Quover. You can click, click on their link and their, uh, it'll take you to their strategies. You can see the U.S. house long short strategy. Yeah, total returns up 243%. Look at this, guys. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. And you can watch it and see how well they're performing. Here's Congress long short. You can see all the different strategies they came up. Automated trading strategies built around Quiver's alternative data. So this is just one of the sites. There's other sites out there that track the uh, uh, corrupt politicians, I guess. Oh, inverse Kramer. Oh, my God. That's probably that Kramer full that fool on CNBC, this hack, this uh, mouthpiece, uh, everything he does is wrong. Everything he says is wrong. Uh, so this is funny. You go the inverse Kramer and look, you're up 77%. If you probably do the Kramer, you're probably down 80%. You know what I mean? It, it, the guy's a hack. If you're watching CNBC, CNBC you're, you're wasting your life. All right. Look at Congress sells. Here's all the strats, right? Anyway, let's go over to the other site they have tied to this. Uh, capitaltrades.com. You can list it out here. Put your politician. Put what they bought. Put the uh, published. And this is interesting. So they traded at 15 June and they just published it seven. They filed the information seven days ago, right? So it's not too dated, uh, which is good. Sometimes they have up to 30 to 60 days to publish it. And most times they don't publish it at all because who's going who's gonna to hold any of these people accountable? Uh, no one. That's the correct answer. No one. All right. So here you go. You see what she's buying. She has two buys in Microsoft, Apple, and then there's this guy McCall. Uh, you can just keep going and going and going. Lots of buys here. He's buying a bunch of stuff. This you can do next page on it. And let's get this McCall guy is really going crazy lately. Keep an eye on this guy. He's up to something. He knows something. And what's funny, you go find out which committees these people are on, if they're on the environment, economic, foreign, national, whatever. It kind of gives you inside information to their inside information. This guy is crazy. Look at him. I'm on four pages, and he is still, holy mackerel. He's selling. He's buying. There's something going on with this guy, Michael McCall. So let's just, uh, let's just forget that guy. All right. There is um, politicians. You can go up to politicians, quick and dirty. This gives you a nice little snapshot of the old Nancy here. Look at her. She's a crazy lady. And she is definitely knows what's happening. She's monetizing her position uh, and and doing quite well. So this is Mark Garcia. Let's see what he's up to. Anything with California. What is he doing? He's selling Tesla. So there must be something going on with Tesla. God knows. I do hold Tesla. Full disclosure, I'm going to hold it. But I don't. that makes me nervous that he's selling it. So who knows what's happening or what policy decisions may be coming down the road. Oh, I'm trying to find one here. Mitch McConnell, 13 trades. Let's see. Who is... Let's go back over here. Oh, what's that? Quiver Congress. Let's see. There's her again. Let's see. Here's one, just in, this is June 23rd. Nancy Pelosi's exercised approximately 1 million of Apple call options and approximately 1.6 million of Microsoft call option. She bought these options on May 24th, 2022. Uh, since then, Apple stock has risen 20, 29% and Microsoft stock has risen 26%. Look at this, the Vice Chair of House Finance Service Committee. Listen, look at that. The vice chair of the House Financial Service Committee owns up to 5.1 million of bank stocks. Oh, my God. The committee hired a Wells Fargo lobbyist as their staff director. Guys, they're all in bed together. You know, Congress profits off Wall Street. Wall Street profits off Congress. I mean, you can bitch and moan them at it, but why not, why not play the game with them? Uh, look at that. Look at this chick. K Kathy Manning has traded up to 6.2 million of stock and options in the last year. She has violated the Stock Act over 50 times. But again, these people are not held accountable. Rules for thee and not for me. Uh, let's see. What are her? Here are her top five most well-timed stock purchases over the past year. Uh, you can go through and read it. 
Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, that guy's corrupt too. I mean, saying they're corrupt is redundant. Just they're politicians, right? Come on, you guys know the game. Uh, here's the stuff she purchased. Manny purchased NVIDIA stock, which I mentioned. I did purchase it. Uh, I went in. I followed along with the, the Pelosi purchase on NVIDIA. Uh, thir like I said, 30% sold it. Broke even about 1000 bucks up. Uh, stupid. The thing spiked, like I said before, and that was stupid. Don't touch your stock, man. But look at that. 275%. I'm kind of kind of kicking myself. Yeah, but it does. I think it works. Uh, look at that. She purchased Builders. First choice stock on July 20th. That was what, last year maybe? Yeah, 2022. And it's up 93%. Uh, Manning purchased Applied Materials October 12th, 2022. The stock was at 82%. Notice they never go down. I mean, if they go down, they probably sell the day before they go down. I don't know. It's in interesting information. Something to look into if you just want to maybe play around with it, experiment with it like I did. Uh, I didn't lose money. I made a, made a couple bucks, but I could have made a lot more proving that Pelosi and uh, this, 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 this person is correct when they bought NVIDIA. I mean, holy crap. And then now Schumer's talking about regulating AI. What is happening, man? So it's almost like a cheat code to follow what these criminals are doing. Why not just see what they're buying, what they're selling, just as insight and entertainment. It's kind of cool. There you go. Just wanted to throw that out there. Video is way too long. Uh, check out capitaltrades.com before they probably shut all this stuff down because they don't want you to know the game. They don't want you to make money. They want to take all your money from you by taxing you. Uh, yeah, that's just the way it is. It's the game out there. Uh, red pill yourself. Know how it's done. And uh, I don't know. Complain? Or utilize it. All right, that's all I got. Go for it. Do great things. I'm out. Talk to you later, guys.